Hey everybody, Jake here from Bearded Gear, and I got a first impressions to go over with you. I've carried this knife now about a day and a half total. I carried it for one whole day, and then the afternoon today. Um, and it seems about the right time to go ahead and knock out my first impressions before I start uh, really <laughs> stewing on it some more, and uh, carrying it a lot more, cutting with it a lot more to prepare for my full review. But I'm starting to uh, notice some things about it, and uh, yeah, so I wanted to just go over where I'm at, kind of as a, a starting point. So on here, um, this of course is the Cerberus Knives Arion, manufactured by Artisan Cutlery. Um, I believe the way this is going to work is that it's going to be an Artisan model, and Artisan will be selling it through their typical channels, um, but it is designed by Cerberus Knives, and I just did my Cerberus scales install. Um, I'm trying out these worker shaman scales. I also personally own the set of uh, worker three scales from my para three. And so not only does Cerberus Knives make scales, but this is his knife design. And I was lucky, I actually got to hang out with him quite a bit at California Custom Knife Show. Um, from when I'm filming this, it's yesterday, but this isn't going to go live tomorrow. So... Time is a funny thing in the world of YouTube content creation. But anyways, yesterday for me, right now as I'm talking, I got to hang out with him quite a bit and uh, talk to him, and, and he's a cool dude. We had talked on the phone before, um, but it was great to be able to hang out with him and kind of see how his mind works and, and enjoy a knife show together. So this is his first production knife. Um, I don't know how many knives overall he's designed over time before getting to this one, but this is, I believe, the first one that is an entire knife of his that is coming to market. And I think the way this one is going to work is that Artisan Cutlery will sell this. This will be one of their models with him as the designer on it. Um, so I'm not positive totally how that's all going to end up looking at the end of the day, but this is a prototype knife. And so he had two of these um, prototypes made so he could test and, and show them to people and uh, make sure everything was up to snuff on them. And I'm really glad that he trusted me to check one out and that he seems to value my opinion enough for some reason uh, to let me give him some feedback on it. It's a cool opportunity. And one of the coolest things, frankly, about reviewing knives is moments like this where I'm holding a prototype knife before anybody else really gets to experience it. So this knife is called the Arion, and I really like <laughs> a lot about it. Um, I feel like it's interesting as a first knife design. One of the things that, I don't know, I feel like I see a lot of knife designers, and one day I'd love to design a knife. Um, that's something that I, I'd like to pursue eventually. But from the outside looking in as somebody who hasn't really designed a knife yet I've drawn a lot of knives i've kind of like tossed ideas around here and there but i feel like a lot of first time knife designers they either go ultra simple and it kind of looks like somebody else's knife because a lot of the really simple designs <laughs> are inherently going to look like other simple knives or they try to go like really wild and just like really make a statement with their first knife and I'm not usually super into the really wild looking stuff in general there are exceptions sure um, but I tend to gravitate more towards the simple but it's also possible to be too simple um, I don't want a handle that's just a rectangle and a blade that's just a rectangle with an edge on it like I I want to see some thought process go into it but simple can often be better I think in hand and in application. I think it's it's possible to overcomplicate things. So one of the things that I immediately liked about this knife was how simple it is um, without being too simple. There are things happening here that are deliberate, but there's nothing really extra happening. And I'm glad that it, it seems like kind of an exercise in restraint in design to for him to put out a knife like this. Um, it's got to be real tempting on your first knife to make that bold statement. And I think there are better ways to make a statement, in my opinion, than to make a knife that's just really out there. Let the knife shine for other reasons, for how it functions or how it carries or um, for all of the above. But it doesn't necessarily have to just be, it doesn't have to look crazy for the sake of looking crazy, I guess is what I'm trying to say. 
So let's talk about my first impressions and uh, and then we'll get a little deeper into it once I do the full review. But from what I know, this knife comes in this version, which is all titanium, or it can be had with a micarta show scale. I believe, I'm almost certain, both are titanium frame locks, but you can get it with a micarta scale from what I've seen. I don't know if there will be more scale options than that when production is actually done, um, but I know from the prototypes I've seen, he's also got a micarta one, which I think is with a different reviewer right now. But uh, this one is, of course, all titanium. And this one he personally used and tested quite a bit before sending it to, I think one or two other reviewers have had this before me. So he sent it to a few people to give him feedback as well. And before he even sent it to them, he pretty brutally tested this. Um, it's wearing a steel that is new for artisan cutlery. I feel like somebody told me that it's actually like kind of an in-house steel for artisan cutlery, which is interesting to me. I don't really see a lot of knife companies do that. I guess Spyderco now with Spy27, um, you could make the argument maybe when S35VN first came out, it was kind of Chris Reeves' steel. Um, but, I mean, I don't really know of many steels that are kind of exclusive to a manufacturer. And I wouldn't think that Artisan would be the one that I'd see that from. But anyways, it's an RPM9 steel. And I have never experienced that steel until now. I haven't done enough cutting with this yet to really comment on it, um, but it's kind of cool. So I don't know if the production version of this knife will be in that steel. I should probably ask him about that. Um, but for now, that's what this prototype is wearing. And that's why he was testing it so heavily was not only to feel out the design, but also I, from what he said to feel out the steel and how it performed. And he could then give that feedback to Artisan. So this knife has been used. It's got quite a few scratches and scuffs on the blade. Uh, there are some snail trails all over the titanium. And that's a good thing for me as somebody who likes to carry and use the knives that I review. Um, it's kind of given me free reign to go ahead and, and use this hard and, and see what it's made of. So, so far I've broken down a few boxes, um, like opened the packages and then processed the cardboard for the dumpster. I've done two or three zip ties, nothing major. Um, I have put it through a little bit of paracord the other day and uh, that's about it so far. But I've started feeling it out so that I can feel how this edge performs and how the geometry seems to cut and I'll have more thoughts on that later. But so far it's cutting really, really well. And I like the tip on it. Um, it's not like a dainty little tip, but it is precise. And I find more and more that I appreciate precise tips on knives. For other people and the way that they use their knives, the more robust a tip is, the better, because they treat their knives like pry bars. Um, I don't really pry things with my knives, and I don't find myself having to stab through car doors very often. It's more common for me to have to get into a narrow little spot in like a Barbie box to unpackage my daughter's newest Barbie and cut a zip tie that's like tightly wound in a small spot. And so precision is a good thing for me. And so I don't want a spindly tip that's gonna break when I do a task like that, but I want a tip that's precise enough that I can reliably get it into tight spaces. That's what she said. Um, so I like the profile of this blade in a couple of ways. Number one is the tip. Number two, this pretty tall flat grind. Um, it gets to a nice profile. It's uh, not crazy thin behind the edge, but it's thinner than I was expecting it to be, frankly. Um, it is a good cutter. And the edge that's on it, I don't know if, I assume he had to sharpen this before, so I don't know if this is the factory edge, how much he's used this before it came to me, but the edge that's on it is good, whether it's factory or not. Um, and so it's, it's been cutting well. I, uh, I've liked cutting with it. I also like that it is a hole for deployment because holes are greater than studs. And my favorite way to deploy a knife is to middle finger flick it. So that's a very good thing to me that this one is designed to be middle finger flicked. Um, one thing I was talking to him about at the show, which is funny, I hadn't even tried it yet, but he was saying one thing that, um, he's not super like pleased with at the end of the day is it's a little bit difficult to thumb flick it. And I agree. I hadn't tried it yet, but I have to kind of get it just right and put like my fingernail kind of in here and then like flick outwards. Even then, 
It's difficult for me to do. It's a good thing that I prefer spidey clicking the knife because I hadn't even noticed. I just do that every time. That's my muscle memory when there's a hole there and oftentimes when there's a stud there, I'm gonna use my middle finger to flick it outwards. So for me, total non-issue. Um, but if you are somebody who insists on using your thumb to open the knife instead of your middle finger, or you could probably even, yeah, you can use your pointer finger as well. Um, if you're a, a thumb flicker, then you might have a difficult time with this, or you'll just have to get used to how it operates. Um, so there's that. But I like that it's this kind of slot hole thing. Um, let's talk about carry real quick. I am really, I think it might be my favorite thing about this knife so far is the way that it carries. When I saw this knife in photos, I did not assume that it would be as thin as it is. And one of the uh, biggest contributing factors, in my opinion, to a knife that is a pleasure to carry in the pocket is the thinness in this direction. Um, a fat knife this way is often going to be the knife that I notice most in my pocket. Of course, the length is another thing, the tallness here, all of those contribute. The weight also absolutely contributes to how a knife feels in pocket. But this one, because it's so slim and being this all titanium version is very smooth, this knife just feels really, really good to me in pocket. Um, it's not super lightweight. It's, these titanium scales aren't internally milled or anything, so it's just titanium slabs, titanium backspacer, titanium clip. It's like all titanium and then blade. Um, so it's not crazy heavy either. If, this, if these scales were made of steel, it would be heavier or brass or copper or anything like that. But I imagine the micarta one, if I had to guess, probably weighs a little less. If they end up doing a carbon fiber one, that one will probably weigh even less than that. Um, I might opt for if they do one in like carbon fiber, I think for me that might kind of be the right uh, balance because I like how smooth this knife is. I don't intend to use this as like an outdoor knife if I get one or I should say when I get one. Um, for me, this is more like a everyday around the city carry. Um, and so I like the smoothness here. I don't need a ton of grip and I like that it's just, it feels pleasantly smooth in hand. There's nothing biting me anywhere. There's no hot spots. There's no uh, super aggressive G10. None of it's wanting to shred my pocket. It's just smooth in and out. Um, it's smooth to play with and it's smooth in hand. I like that for a knife this speed. Um, let's talk about the one spot where there is jimping. <laughs> There's a little bit of jimping right here in the most typical spot that you can find it on a folding knife. Um, but it's not aggressive at all. It's actually quite round and it almost gives me just kind of an indexing point without being like super traction-y. And so I kind of like that I've got a spot where I can just kind of reference where my thumb is. I do find if I'm in a saber grip, I often extend my thumb further forward than that anyway, so then I'm not feeling it at all. But um, that jimping doesn't bother me in any grip that I really put the knife in. So fine with that jimping. Um, speaking of which, in any grip, this knife is very comfortable. I like it a lot in a reverse grip. I've got a great spot to wrap my thumb around up here. The profile feels very natural in this way. Even in a reverse grip draw cut, it's such a neutral handle shape that it just feels good in any orientation. Um, and I like that. I appreciate that about neutral handle shapes because I am somebody who, it's not like I do most of my cutting in a reverse grip or in a draw cut or anything, but I do make cuts like that. Um, I find that with my type of knife use, I'm often cutting, like I said, kind of precise, weird things, and I'm having to get in on weird angles and, and kind of work with my knives in a way that it's important to me to be able to change the orientation and use it how I want to. So um, I like that. I will say this handle, if you're looking for something uh, kind of high speed, low drag, tactical, or like very outdoorsy, tough, rugged, and it, grip is important to you, in this configuration, this is not the knife to pick for that. The micarta might have some better grip, so I haven't handled that one, I don't know, but this one, this handle shape, if you're the type of person who's like maybe chopping with a folder like this for some reason or something, um, there's no like swell back here really to keep it from slipping out. Um, it does have kind of a guard up here, but 
There's no like grooves to keep me locked in. There's no texture all over this thing to keep me locked in. It's all very smooth. And so for the type of tasks that I would do with like a city carry knife, like I would view this as, um, I don't have any issue with how smooth it is. Like I said, I view it as a positive, but if you are somebody who's looking for um, ultimate grip, then this knife is not that, <laughs> which is, again, in my opinion, preferable, but to some people it's worth considering. So I like the action. I really dig the way it carries. Um, I wouldn't mind if it was a little lighter. Like I said, I think I would pick, if they do a carbon fiber one, I think that would kind of be the way to go on this because I'd still have some smoothness and cut the weight down a little. That said, it's not overly heavy in this configuration. Not even like, it is a totally acceptable weight to me. I'm not a specs guy, so I didn't even look up what it weighs. Um, but I wouldn't mind if I could shave an ounce off of this. That would be fine with me. Um, so yeah, I like action, I like carry. I like the ergos. I like the way it cuts. So far, I'm just, I'm really enjoying it quite a bit. So I'm gonna be carrying it a lot more. I'm gonna be digging deeper into it. And uh, especially because it's a prototype and I wanna be able to give him some feedback on this knife. And because he's such a cool dude and, and welcomes that feedback, I really wanna kind of dig into it deep. Um, I tend to think about knives pretty deeply <laughs> in general anyways, but I'm gonna make an extra effort on here to just really figure everything out about this one. But it's nice that right off the bat, this dude's first production knife, I'm already really liking it. Like I, I genuinely have been enjoying this knife and I don't know, it's impressive to me to see this be its first design that I can hold and use and carry and it's this good. Um, and kudos as well to Artisan because this is a well-built knife. I feel like a lot of people, um, I don't know, there's there's discussion about who the best um, overseas manufacturers, specifically in China, because there's some competition over there between Riat and Wee and Best Tech and Artisan and um, CJRB, and I guess CJRB is part of another company, like CBB is, but um, there's all of this, all of these companies that are all working hard to build really good production knives and uh, it's been interesting over the last couple of years to just watch the hierarchy kind of shift a little bit and uh, I feel like when I first kind of jumped on the scene everyone was raving about Wii and Riat was also kind of right there and uh, Riat almost in my opinion right now seems to be leading the charge on the amount of quality from Chinese manufacturing but Wii has always been really good as well but Companies like Best Tech and now like Artisan are starting to capture my attention as well because the knives of theirs that I've been giving my attention to have been impressing me and uh, they seem to be coming in at price points that are very reasonable, even oftentimes now compared to Riat and Wii. And part of that might just be the, the competitive nature of it, so I don't know. But I really like this knife and it seems to be built very well to me. I haven't had any issues with it yet. With how hard it's been used, the fact that it's still centered, that the action is going this strong, um, and it's just, by, by every real metric that I kind of grade a knife's quality by, so far I'm impressed. I like it. Anyway, this has turned into quite a long first impressions, but I've been thinking a lot about this knife, so that's probably why. Um, thanks again to Cerberus Knives for sending this to me to check out and uh, and to review and just enjoy for a little bit. I am absolutely enjoying it. So thank you to him. He'll be linked down below in the description if you wanna check out his site or his Instagram. And uh, that'll be that on this first impressions. So I will see you guys again very soon. Thanks guys.